Blessings, beloved. My name is Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I read the Word of God, beloved, every day for seven minutes so you do not have to read. I'm resuming our read on Psalms, the 89th chapter, resuming at verses uh, 26, um, a prayer for deliverance from death. No, that's not right. 89 is God's agreement with David. God's agreement with David. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads. As soon as I get the timer up here, it reads. <clears throat> Alrighty. He shall cry unto me. Thou art my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forever, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever in his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with the stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not, not utterly take from them, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once have I sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David. His seed shall endure forever and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithful witness in heaven, Selah. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant, thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all his hedges, thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him, he is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. How long, Lord? Wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. Lord, where are thy former loving kindness? Which thou swearest unto David in thy truth. Remember, Lord, the reproach of the servants. How I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Bless be the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Psalms 90. God is eternal. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but a yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up, in the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we consume by thine anger and by the wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath, we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength, they be fourscore years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it's soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. 
So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us with early, O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. The 91st Psalms In God's Care He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord that he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waiteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, and adder the young lion, and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. May the Lord add a blessing to that precious and sacred reading of this holy word of God. I read for your hearing down to the 92nd chapter of Psalms. We will resume tomorrow Sunday at chapter 92. I want to say thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club where your donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson is a continued blessing. Also, don't forget the CD, Encourage Yourself. Hallelujah. $10, paypal.me to forward slash Pamela Dobson. And if these readings are a blessing to you and you feel led to donate, you can send any donation to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Know that Jesus loves you. Mama Pam loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Be kind to somebody. God bless.